Welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm on my way to Cholton to Smith's Toy Store. There's a few things I'm looking for today. I'm looking for the um, new Thanos Smith's Toy Store exclusive and I'm looking for the Killmonger um, Glow in the Dark exclusive as well. And I know Smith's has those. And Charlton Smith's normally pretty good. So I'm going to hit that up and see if I can find anything. So um, it's going to take us about an hour and a bit to get there. And um, But for you it takes seconds. So let's go to a travel montage. It's taken us forever, but for you, a mere matter of seconds, we had to get, what, two trains, top train, underground train, and then a bus, all the way out to Charlton in uh, North London. So let's go inside and see what they've got. Hopefully they've got something, otherwise I'm gonna be very disappointed. And we've wasted the journey, and um, Jess is gonna kill me for making it come all the way to this part of London at this time in the morning, because it's about 10 o'clock, and uh, we set out about 8.30. So yeah, let's uh, see what we got. Right guys, so here we are at the pop section. Let's start looking down here. We've got some My Little Pony Pops on sale over here. Lots of Sonic the Hedgehog ones and um, some uh, Crash Bandicoot Pops there as well. We've also got the uh, Nickelodeon stuff, the Heffler and stuff like that. We've got the two Beavers, some Disney things. We've got a good selection here, guys. Nothing but the best. I won't name everything that's on the screen because um, obviously you can see it. The Ghostbusters, um, Stranger Things Pops there, I was very tempted to get. But I think I'll save them for another day. We've got some Bond stuff. It's really cool stuff. I did check all for all of this for chases. I was looking for that Mr. Bean and that Rock Chase, to be honest. But unfortunately, nothing. And then you can see there, we've got, oh, we've got, what's that? Brand Stark for £5. That's a bargain if you're a Game of Thrones collector. I've already got that, so um, that's a, a leave that for me. And then we've got the Black Panther. I looked for chases and not really much. And then we had the new... Uh, Avengers uh, Pops here, which are fantastic. We've got the four, and we've got um, the new Thanos and Captain America, which is looking really cool, and an Iron Man, and an Iron Spider as well. We've got some really cool stuff here, guys. I mean, I really did like looking at all this new stuff. And um, up here on the top shelf is what I came for. There it is. It's a Smith Toy exclusive Thanos with the portal. That is amazing. I cannot wait to review this on this channel. It's really going to be a fantastic pop to my collection, and I cannot wait to do that. And we've also got here this Iron Spider-Man. I'm not going to pick this up, but this does look fantastic. I really do like that suit. That's a great pop. I'd definitely get that in future. And um, they've got some old Harry Potter ones here. And then they've got, oh wow, they've got some 8-bit pops. Well, I'm seeing these for the first time and I'm interested in these. These are looking good. They've got Pickle Rick up there. And um, I've got Pickle Rick. I love Pickle Rick. Review is to come with him on this channel. And it's just got a whole bunch of stuff, guys. It's not, not the best um, variety of things here. But I've come a long way, so I'm definitely going to get some stuff. A bit sad there's no chases, and I'm a bit sad there's no that Edit Killmonger exclusive. But some Rick and Morty pops at the top there as well. And we've just got a very uh, very good selection here, guys. And um, I'm going to pick some stuff up for sure. Definitely going to get that Thanos, because that is something that I've uh, been after since I saw it was exclusive to Smith's. But I'm going to leave this up for Thanos, but I'll definitely pick that up in future, because these will be a... Uh, they will go store wide. Loads of different stores will have these. Probably supermarkets as well because it's going to be a huge film. And this is another one I'm thinking about getting, guys. I'm thinking about getting this Jason Pop. It does look really, really cool. We've got some Rick and Morty plush. And yeah, I'm just going to have one more look around and see what we can. Uh, anything else I can pick up because I've come all this way. I'm not going to leave stuff if I want it. And um, oh, I'm tempted by this Freddy as well. You can't really buy Freddy without Jason. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to get both of those. And then uh, this is also tempting me, this alien uh, pop there. That's tempting me as well. So I'm not really sure. Stick around to the hall at the end and you'll find out what I've picked up. Hey everyone, I'm back now from Smith's and that was a absolute killer. That took forever to get to and to be honest, it wasn't that worth it for the stuff they had. There was a very small section as you can see. The video actually in Smith's isn't very long. I do apologise for that. I am heading to another Smith's tomorrow so that video will be up further in the week. So hopefully they'll have a bit more there for me to film. And I'm going to check out a B&M Home Bargains as well. So hopefully that will um, be a better video. But this, I did pick up a few good things. I know it's not the longest video like I said and I do apologise for that. But I did pick up a few things. 
and I had some stuff coming in the post as well so I thought I would uh, just do a little haul video at the end of this Smith's um, Funko Pop Hunt. Now what I did pick up in Smith's is the following. I picked up this exclusive uh, Thanos, which is obviously £10. Um, really good, I think it's exclusive to Smiths at the moment in the UK, and um, it's I think it's a Walmart exclusive in the US, but um, I picked that up for tenner, and I'm really happy. That is what I went for, that and the Killmonger, like I said in the start of the video. Unfortunately, as you saw, no Killmonger, but Thanos, Brilliant. Right, as you already saw in the video, what else was there? I picked up this Jason 8-bit pop. Now, I love the 8-bit pops. I like the horror pops too, so I picked that up. I'm really pleased and chuffed with getting that for $9.99. Then I picked up the Alien pop as well from the film Alien and um, the, the, the Exonomorph or something like that, but I'm not really a big fan of that film. But I did pick up this uh, pop because I love the 8-bit characters and I couldn't leave it there. It's really heavy and it's a nice big pop and I thought for £10, I'm going to slap... I'm gonna snap that one up. And then I picked up this, this Freddy Cougar. You can't have Freddy without Jason. So I picked up this and I love it. It's a great pop and the box is great. I will review all three of these because I think they're excellent. And I've got eight bit reviews of all the Stranger Things eight bits to come. They'll be up on the channel in the following few weeks. So um, subscribe to check that out. But yeah, I got a Freddy. And then I popped down to Forbidden Planet in London. I did not film there as it was mad massively hectic and it was just a really quick in and out. And I managed to pick up this exclusive Norman Bates pop from the Psycho, the black and white version. Now they're normally $14.99 and there was a whole bunch of them stand there for $14.99 but one had a $10.99 sticker on it, I don't know if you can see that, and um, this three for 30 So they priced it up wrong. So when I got to the teal, she scanned it and she said $14.99, so it says 10 so she let me have it for 10 because it was their mistake. So I was pretty chuffed with that. I got that for $10.99 instead of $14.99 and I've got the original one. I just wanted the black and white exclusive again as I like the horror pops and that will go in my horror pop collection. And then in Forbidden Planet, this is um, not pop wise, I bought this Marvel Select Drax and Baby Groot. It was $26.99 down to $12.99 because the box was damaged just there and it's been taped back up. But the figure's intact and, and just there as well. But I'm going to take it out of box and display it in my shelf anyway. So that is fantastic. I, wa I wanted this and I didn't want to pay $26.99. So I'm so glad that the box was damaged and I managed to pick it up. It's just a shame they didn't have a Star Lord and the Rocket one in the damaged box side. I picked it up as well. But the package art is great. It is a shame that they are, it is destroyed. But anyway, a bargain's a bargain and I picked that up. I got one pop in the post. It came, I brought it and it said damaged box. Now it was a Frodo, it, the exclusive Frodo, the uh, see-through one. I do collect Lord of the Rings ones. I like to keep the exclusive ones in box, but the box was so damaged, I had to throw it away. I couldn't even salvage it. So unfortunately, I had to throw it away, but it was very cheap. So uh, I'm really glad to have that in my collection. I can display that on shelf in my outer box Lord of the Rings ones instead of with the Lord of the Rings ones in the box. Uh, but it was normally $14.99 and I paid way less than that, less than half of that. So um, I'm really pleased at um, picking that up. And then two Star Wars Black Series came and it was left for my neighbour luckily enough when I got in. And um, I'm really pleased and they're hard to find in the UK. I've never seen them before. I've actually never seen them in person when I've gone on um, hunts before. I've almost got nearly every Star Wars Black Series now. I think maybe about 20 to go out of all 97 I've got like just 20 left to get with the new ones coming out I managed to pick up Kalen Jarez which was a I found that for a steal for 14 pounds on Amazon with like 2.99 shipping from the US so I was really 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 pleased with that and then I got a Soka as well which I'm really happy about because again that is a, a, a Funko that is a Star Wars Black Series I just don't see these two you just don't see on the shelves in the UK and um, I'm so mad I'm I'm so glad I managed to pick them up and I just want them to finish the Rebels crew. I need a chopper and um, all the other characters we haven't had yet. I know we've got Sabine and we've got um, and we've got Kaylin and a couple of others, but there is a few I would more there is a few more I'd like. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Thanks for sticking with me through this haul. And thanks for watching my journey to Smith's. It was a long one, it was tiring. I managed to come away with five pot four. I managed to come away with four pops though, so I'm all happy. That Thanos one is what I'm looking for. So stay tuned to this channel because, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to another Smith, so I'm going to try to find that uh, Killmonger Grow in the Dark exclusive. So um, like this video, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the trip to Smith's and like the stuff I picked up and my whole video. And um, guys, just drop a comment down below, we'll have a chat, let me know what you thought with the video and the stuff I picked up and the stuff I got in the post. And let me know if you saw anything 
at Smith's that you would have picked up that I left behind. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. If you are, guys, a subscriber, I really do appreciate it. 165 now. I never thought I'd get that many subscribers on this little channel. And hit the notification bell just to be reminded of all my videos upcoming. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. A lot of you guys don't, and I would really appreciate it if you did. The links are in the description below. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.